Windrush descendants celebrating a moment of history, pride and gratitude for those who helped build Britain. Citizens of the British Empire coming to the mother country with good intent. The Empire Windrush arrived in 1948. 97-year-old Alford Gardner was a passenger on the ship. Born in Jamaica, he settled in Leeds. This is me on the right. I don't know where the 75 years are gone. 75? It can't, can't be. Why is it so important for people to remember the 75th anniversary of Windrush? Britain wanted people to help to rebuild. Because, I mean, that, at that time, I mean, there's still a lot of buildings that were burnt out. In every department of work in England, you can find West Indians have a hand in it. Yeah, we've done, I think we've done a good job. King Charles has acknowledged the contribution of Alford and other Windrush pioneers with a series of portraits. Brilliant, it was a very special generation. I do find the sun shines a little brighter on St. Marie. Death in Paradise star Don Warrington is a Windrush descendant. I feel we owe a debt to those people that came. My parents, lots of people's parents, they, they came and they struggled, and they struggled with such good heart. But he is angry that thousands were wrongly classed as illegal immigrants by the Home Office. It's a shocking thing that, that you invite people here to help you and then you, you forget about them and then you turn on them. Home Secretary Suella Braverman says she is committed to righting the wrongs of the Windrush scandal. More than £75 million of compensation has been paid or offered. Events have taken place across the UK, in Cardiff at the Senate and in Birmingham, a musical tribute. Here in Brixton, people of all ages are celebrating and this area of South London has played a special part in the Windrush story because it's here many found jobs and a home after leaving the ship. Today's celebrations, a milestone etched in the national story of Britain with a legacy that continues to shape the nation. Celestina Olulode, BBC News, Brixton.